scores, bringing the total to seven. It also has less memory. Hey guys, my name is Dan and welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the lighting in advance, okay? The window is here, but my background's here and I oh, have got studio lights. I'm sorry. You know what? We're gonna have fun, okay? So today's video is gonna be all about how I plan, edit, and upload my YouTube videos. So I'm gonna walk you through my whole process of how I create this YouTube video from the very beginning to planning it and then actually filming it like I'm doing right now and then also editing it and uploading it to YouTube itself. I suppose let's just get on to the video. Let's run this intro. <laughs> video is the planning okay is this is where all your ideas come to life so if you have certain video ideas this is where you break down your brainstorm get that brain working okay get your creativity working girl so this is where I have a list of all my YouTube ideas then when I'm brainstorming maybe what way I want the video to go in so like what's at the beginning what's in the middle what's at the end you have to plan what you're gonna do like just like you plan for everything else and if you know me I love my plans I use this bullet journal to plan all my videos this is the handiest dandiest thing I ever do I always just jot down all my brain dump all my ideas whatever my brain is thinking around that video chuck it all in here okay so for example when I was planning this video normally I get a new page or if I've only used half page write the title of the video on the front or the idea of the video on top and then I go into detail of what I want to say in the video it might not be in order but at least it's there I use this app called Trello that helps me stay organized with my YouTube ideas etc so first of all I have a videos ideas column so I have all my video ideas in there and anytime I come up with a new idea, I just pop it in my phone, pop it in there. And then on the next column, column, it's my planning schedule. So these are videos that I want to plan soon or my next videos, if that makes sense. It's also really easy to chop and change and just drag them over. So once this video is done now, I'll be able to put that in there. So then once those videos are filmed, they go into this filmed column. And then I also have an edited and a thumbnail one. So once it's edited and the thumbnail is made, it goes into this column. Finally, once it's uploaded, I put the date on it, I click done, and then it goes into this column. So that's how I kind of plan my YouTube schedule, if that makes sense. So that's kind of all to do with keeping my ideas in one place. And the great thing about Trello is also it's free, and you can use it on your laptop, you can use it on your phone, and you know what, it's always with you. So I think that's everything in the planning stage. Let me check my notebook. Let's get on to the filming bit. Okay. Filming. Filming the video itself might seem like the easy part. Believe me, it's not, okay? See, this is why planning is so good. All in the notebook. Don't have to remember any of them. So obviously the first thing about filming is equipment. So the equipment I have is obviously my camera, my tripod, my mini tripod, and my phone tripod, if that makes sense. So the four things I use when I'm filming, okay? Next thing you have to think about is your filming setup, okay? So you want to film somewhere with good lighting, i.e. in front of a window, exhibit A. Next you want to film with a background that is, there's no clutter or anything, or nothing that will distract from the viewer. So then my filming setup. I have my chair from my beauty desk in front of my curtains. I make sure they're closed and that you can't reveal everything behind it. So it makes a much nicer feel. Chair is in front of it then, then I'm setting up my tripod and I want to make sure that it's directly at my eye level and it's not too high, not too low. That's where my baby tripod comes in. If I do want to take it off my big tripod and let's say put it on the desk, I'll put my camera on my little tripod and then I'll film on my desk. So I filmed last videos on my baby tripods. If you want to check that out, definitely check it out, I'll link it up here. Last thing then when you're filming is you just have to kind of be yourself and figure out your own filming techniques, okay? So whether it's moving around like I do, whether it's vlogging, a lot of people do vlogging as well where they hold the camera. There are so many different filming techniques out there but it's all about you and your personal preference, okay? And apologies, the lighting just went in behind the clouds. One of these days I will get professional lighting. Let's talk editing. 
Editing is probably going to take you the longer to do your YouTube video. This is the time where your creativity comes out, you get it all together, and you know what? It is prob It is actually one of my favourite times. I know it does take ages, but I do really enjoy editing because I learn new things. So obviously, things you need for editing. So you need a laptop, you need an editing software, an external hard drive. I obviously use my MacBook to edit everything. I connect my external hard drive because I don't want to use up all the storage and it's just so much easier that I just click in my external hard drive and it's all there. So the editing software I use is Final Cut Pro. I've only been using this now for under a year, I think. And it has transformed my videos. Before this, I was using, not iMovie, because I did not have a MacBook. I was using Windows Movie Maker. However, that software was perfect for me starting out. It was perfect for someone who didn't know what I wanted to do or anything like that or any editing styles. It was absolutely perfect and it was free. Like, you can't go wrong. So if you are starting a YouTube video and you don't have any editing software, definitely use Windows Movie Maker. It did me wonders. I was able to start the YouTube channel without having to fork out loads of money for editing software or anything like that. That did the job for me. Once I got my MacBook, I did want to upgrade to Final Cut Pro because I think it would benefit my videos and it has. As you can see, I have different transitions and you can see the difference between my old videos and my new videos. This is just where all the magic happens, okay? This is where all the creativity happens. You put everything together and you make your plans come to life, basically, okay? So when I sit down to start editing a video for the first time, I normally do a rough cut. So this is basically cutting out all the gaps or all the breaths that I take. So let's say I'm sitting here and I lose my words or something and I'm like, um... I cut all that out, okay? Because that's just boring. So basically, I just cut out all the mistakes and all the times where, let's say, I'm stumbling over my words. That's what a rough cut is, okay? Kind of getting the body of the actual edit itself. So once the rough cut is done, I consider that the majority of the video done. I go through it again to see is there anything else I need to cut out or other bits like that. Then I start adding overlays. So I start adding in the screen captures, let's say my intro, my outro, my social media buttons, any images, transitions. That's when I start adding in all of them. I normally start at the beginning and work my way through and then I put in my intro. I already have my intro pre-edited so thank god. For some reason I just can't speak today. Ugh. Moral of the story, I just go through the whole video and start adding in the overlays, okay? Now this could take five minutes, this could also take three hours. It depends how much detail I want to go into and what I want the video to look like. Eventually, when I finish editing the video, I will watch it completely through to make sure I am happy with it. The next step is exporting. Once it's ready to export, I send it over to Compressor and then they like compress it down really small. So once I upload it to YouTube, it doesn't take too long. That takes us to the uploading part. Let's go. This is where I edit, okay? So if you haven't seen my beauty or office transformation, I'm gonna link it up here just so you can see this whole general area. If you wanna check that out, definitely do hit the button up here. So this is where all the editing happens. Okay, I know I just talked about editing there, but I also wanna go into detail now about uploading. So obviously once the video is edited and exported to my computer, it is saved on my external hard drive. This is my external hard drive, okay? This little tiny thing. Yeah, this is a two terabyte external hard drive. So there's a lot of space in it. So once I export and compress my video, it is saved onto this little bad boy over here. And then I can upload it to YouTube, okay? So when you upload video first, you obviously open YouTube and up in the right hand corner there's a little upload button and you're going to find that video in your external hard drive and it's going to start processing. When your video comes up first you can see a processing down the end and it has the description and the title. So basically while your video is processing now is the time to do the title to the description, the tags etc. So after you have this section done you're going to press next. It's going to take you to cards, end screens etc. And that's where you might link videos, you might link other channels, you just might link things in general okay. And then after that you basically just click next and then you click upload and that's what happens, okay? And that's how you upload a video. And then you're done, okay? Your video is uploaded, you did all the filming, all the editing, all the planning. That's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting a little insight into how I basically make these YouTube videos. Don't forget to subscribe as well, as I said, because not a lot of you who are watching my YouTube videos are not subscribers. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more of me. And don't forget to like, give this video a big thumbs up, and comment as well any video ideas you might want or what you thought about the video. So I'll see you next week. Bye.